as a coach, I'm blessed to see it change people's lives. So CrossFit is about people trying to improve their fitness and they often come here, they want to lose weight, they want to you know, get more muscular, lose body fat, um, be more active. But then after being here for a while, they realize that in other parts of their life, they've seen changes, they're more confident. They know that they can accomplish hard tasks. Um, they see those physical changes, they're mentally more tough and they've made good, good friends and, and have a new support system. Um, so for me, that's, that's CrossFit, is seeing people get mentally more tough, see those changes in themselves, physically, mentally, emotionally, and I mean, more than just getting a good workout, even though that might be what it starts out as. I was one of those people that absolutely hated CrossFit at first. And I didn't know anything about it, really. I probably read something on Facebook, social media, saw the, all the things that make fun of it. Um, the people that I knew who did CrossFit were loud, kind of obnoxious, and wore colorful clothing. And I knew CrossFit was being expensive. And then uh, I had a job that actually provided my wife and I with a paid gym membership. So we went around to every gym in the city to see which one we wanted to go to. Ended up going last to a CrossFit gym, and it kicked my butt. I mean, the workout, I, was, I thought I was in good shape. I was a firefighter. and. <laughs> yeah, it kicked my butt. I decided we got to try this again. We went back the next day and people remembered our names. No one wore headphones. There was no mirrors, no one taking like gym selfies. And people remembered our name. They were supporting us and it seemed like everyone was getting a good workout. The coaches knew what they were talking about. I learned things and I mean, I'd worked out before, but I was learning new techniques and, and ways of doing things that I hadn't before. And so my perception of CrossFit completely changed. and. I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. Coaching is different for everyone. I mean, some people, I've had a guy <laughs> come up to me in the middle of a workout and ask me to punch him in the stomach. And he was just trying to get motivated to work out, right? And I said, I'm, I didn't punch him in the stomach. And I said, I'm not going to get back to working out, right? And he wanted his, his idea to get motivated. He needs someone to cheer for him, yell, sort of be in his face. Other people don't need that, they just want a nice, um, I guess, confidence boost or just one nice little, um, what do you call that? Push. Yeah, just one little, one little push and, and then to get taught the technique and leave them alone. Um, but to be a coach is a little deeper than that. I think as a coach, you have a deep responsibility um, to be the example to, to your athletes. So they're coming to you, putting their trust in you that you're gonna make them better. And whether that's physically or in their life or and to be safe. So as a coach, um, I often talked about with, with our coaches here, the emotional bank account. Or, and the emotional bank account is where, just like a normal bank account, you have to build wealth through frequent deposits and and few withdrawals. And when you coach someone, it's naturally a withdrawal. It's very critiquing in nature. Um, but you have to fill it with also those, those deposits to build wealth in the relationship. So letting people know they're doing a good job, um, doing things outside of the gym. If, uh, Greg Glassman, the founder of CrossFit said, if, you, if you're not willing to go to have a pastrami sandwich with one of your clients, because you don't want to see them outside the gym, you're probably in the wrong business. Um, so coaches, it's a very trusting relationship. It's hard to explain. I mean, if you notice, there's no machines here because we believe like you are the machine. Um, we focus on what we call functional movements and, and CrossFit's basically you know, weightlifting, gymnastics, and cardiovascular sort of activities. Um, when you go to Gold's Gym, if you're, if you're worried about just your looks and you want to get into bodybuilding, worried about you know, looking good in that bikini or that swimsuit, awesome. Um, here it's more about how we move and the tasks we can accomplish. And luckily that as you get better at, at the movements here, you look better naked. Like uh, you'll get the good looks, but we're more worried about what you can do instead of what you look like. Um, the value of a CrossFit gym is that you have hopefully a really good coach that'll teach you techniques and movements that you wouldn't necessarily learn anywhere else. 
and I mean high skilled gymnastics, um, Olympic weightlifting, things that might have a high barrier to entry unless you have a coach who's knowledgeable in those areas. And so, I mean, it's awesome you have a middle-aged mom come in and learn gymnastics and Olympic weightlifting where I don't think they'd be able to do that even watching YouTube videos and going to your traditional gym. Um, and then the community aspect as well. Like, no one's wearing headphones, people know your name. I mean, I'm working out next to a world-class rugby player and also next to, you know, my friend's grandma. And we're all suffering, going through the same workout, but at the end, giving high fives, supporting each other. It's awesome. My favorite thing about coaching, um, seeing the change in people. I mean, I love to coach the competitive athletes, the ones who want to join competitions or go into a weightlifting competition, and, and they're going for physical dominance, right? Um, but even more than that, I love those who come in who are looking for physical competence, meaning I have a client who came in, he just had open heart surgery, and he's actually trying to get off his medication because it makes him dizzy and he doesn't like it, and it's because his blood pressure is high and, and things like that. And so we work with them and, and get them doing, you know, squats and, and deadlifts and, and activities that we call functional, you see in everyday life. And after a few months, um, they're off their medication. And their doctor is saying, this is amazing. Do what you're doing because it's awesome, right? Or we have someone come in who, you know, they, they have trouble walking 100 meters without being out of breath, right? And so obviously, life and, and playing with their grandkids or whatever is getting difficult for them. Um, but working here with them at, at their level, and then all of a sudden, months later, they're running a mile. You know, they're gonna be playing with their grandkids for a long time and, and avoiding you know, chronic disease and, and a lot of the ailments that come as people get older. And, and that is my favorite part of coaching, is working with those people. Yeah, the most frustrating part of coaching probably is um, people who want the results but won't put in the work. I mean, it could be a common thing with, in the world now, right? Everyone wants it now. Uh, there's no magic pill or supplement that'll get you to your goal. It just takes work. And sometimes we have people who come in and they say, I've been coming for a while or this, that, and the other, and I'm not seeing the results. And I'll say, okay, let's track it. And then we actually track how often they work out or how their eating habits are, or I mean, they can work out an hour a day, but what are they doing in the other 23 hours of the day, right? And after they track it, they realize, oh, maybe I'm only going to the gym, you know, once or twice a week, and my eating's not that good. I skip breakfast a lot of days. And so then they realize, oh, like, I'm not putting in the work. But it's the people who don't realize that and think, I'm doing all this stuff, not seeing the results. Uh, that gets a little frustrating as a coach from the outside looking in, seeing just like, well, if you, worked, <laughs> if you just worked a little harder, I promise the results will be there. Right. A lot of people, I think, are intimidated about CrossFit. I mean, we've had people drive, <laughs> we've had people drive up and sit outside in their vehicle and then drive away because they're scared to come in. They're almost there or they follow us on social media for a while and then finally a year later decide, you know what, I'm going to try it out. And as soon as they try it out, they realize it's not that intimidating. Um, it's just, like I said before, a lot of people trying to make their lives better, um, trying to be fit and healthy. And that's what you'll find here. It's always a friendly face. There's always friendly smiles, um, good coaches. And if if you want to, I don't know, have a good time, get a good workout in, learn something new, and, and improve your life. I mean, we, we do all that within the hour, hopefully. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's a great environment. The people make, the people are the magic.